All right, YouTube, how you doing? So this is my 8-inch Tesla coil here. Some of you guys have been asking about the specs, and I've been promising something here to show you guys what it's all about. So I'll kind of go over it quick, and you can let me know what you think. So uh, starting at the top here, we have our 8.25-inch uh, uh, inch by 40 toroid securely mounted and right now I just kind of set it up there to take the video so you can see I used nylon everywhere I could that's how it attaches up um, the uh, secondary here is uh, 1400 turns exactly of 22.5 I know odd gauge but uh, it's what I was able to get my hands on at the time um, it is a basically a sano tube uh, coated and prepped very very well in the beginning um, you can see my primary down here all acrylic all polished it's three uh, three eighths inch tubing um, with three eighths, three eighths inch spacing and uh, you can see all the the wood base here and it's dirty because it's been in the garage is uh, all protected by the uh, acrylic here. It's all welded across here with acrylic weld. Um, you can see the uh, primary or secondary support there, uh, height adjustable. Um, I've got it coupling pretty well set in right now. Um, down here we have uh, the safety gap and that's where I bring the high voltage connections in. And then this here is actually uh, uh, two pieces of UV uh, get this over here UV uh, plexi um, so protects the viewing audience and uh, this is Finley Irish in case anybody is ever wondering um, he thinks I'm down here so I could pet him but uh, this here is my uh, my async spark gap uh, 10,000 RPM, 11,500 actually, 10 amp angle grinder, uh, phenolic disc, all laser cut, um, all tungsten, and I have terrible lighting. Um, ground comes in here, all lifted, um, all on phenolic, uh, same with the, the spark gap here, um, strike rail. Kind of got a look at that earlier. That is half inch tubing. Brought right down to the ground. I'm going to shorten that up here soon. Uh, my MMC, this is a 140 942s. Um, I have them in 14 in series, 10 in parallel. So you can see here on the side, I've got uh, three rows of nine and then one row back here I uh, may or may not add more on um, and I would like to adjust it so that I could actually change my capacitance level right now it's all just connected up um, everything on this was built by hand this is not a table I get a lot of people asking about that um, but uh, the garage is a mess, I apologize, but I've been busy. Um, so, yeah, there she is. Coil building workshop there. Um, and a terrible mess because, once again, I've been busy. But, uh, yeah, you can see breakout point here. Um, just some leftover half-inch tubing. Chris Bowden from the Geek Group actually threw this together. When he was over here testing with me. Um, so, yeah, that's the coil there. Resonant frequency of around 82 kilohertz. Uh, you can see it is tapped over here at uh, turn 8. Um, mounted on there nice and securely. Um, ground connection made right down here um, nylon bolt through here with a nice 
thick piece of solid copper down here. And so that drops right down through underneath here. And uh, you can see I have some extra insulating that goes up and protects it against the wood. Um, all the wood's been covered, coated very heavily with uh, uh, polyurethane. So she's just about done. Um, feeling pretty confident with the toroid and everything else after last week's run. This right here is the new addition. Um, Marathon, 3400 RPM, 3450, half horsepower. I'm going to be bringing this down here soon to uh, the group and working with Chris to uh, make this sink. So we're going to put it on a CNC mill and uh, get it all milled down. Um, just for grins, I threw my original spark gap disc up, which was a poor attempt on my part. Um, and uh, you can see it actually mounts up pretty solid. I've, I've test run it a few times and I actually got this to balance out very, very well, even in the crap it is now. So I'm sure that uh, this will handle it pretty good. Um, if not, then I'll correct that at another point. Um, but uh, yeah, now you guys have uh, seen the coil and seen uh, kind of what she's all about. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.